But yeah, I am trying something new today. And not because it's fucking happening to me currently, but it's just shit that people around the world just hate. And with this point starting off, I want to get off with fucking people who change around the women. Why do you feel the need to hit me across the head repeatedly about like five times because a girl is walking past us in public? Dude, she's not going to let you hit. Just get off me, please. I don't need you actually fucking slapping my head around when I'm trying to do something in my own manner. And honestly, this comes to the fact that people who don't talk to women tend to do this because they think that, oh shit, it makes me look alpha and I get aura points. Shut the fuck up, man. Just please, shut the fuck up. You're not impressing anybody. So, with that, I think this also moves on to cringe things. Like, uh, I think this topic will fall under more of, like, TikTok brain rot, kind of. Like, nowadays, people need to watch Subway Surfers under their videos to, like, for their attention span. Because they can't sit, like, five seconds and wait patiently for the topic to start getting more interesting. But then again, not everyone like that is patient in the world, so I can't really blame you for most of that. But my nigga, you don't need to hear a fucking a baby voice with fucking the angry Asian or T Banks talking at like 2x speed with fucking subway surfers or Minecraft playing under the video. Oh, get a grip, man. Alright, so moving on to that. I think people who flex things are somewhat annoying nowadays. I know people like they could flex for certain reasons. I can't think of one off the top of my head. I mean maybe if you're like down in an argument kind of get your point because you want this guy to get off your ass so you got to like show him a little some some but my nigga don't don't come on discord or some shit talking about ah, i have a fucking new head no one cares about your fucking headless that you spent 350 dollars on nowadays please i mean if you got it for cheaper i mean good looks on you but dude please don't go spreading that shit around we, we don't really care about it if you want to go spread in your little fucking discord community with like fucking 14 year old girls that are begging for headless i mean sure go ahead just please there's people in there that generally don't fucking give a shit and kind of speaking on that topic bro i think this kind of relates back to cringe things bro if you're like 20 years old in a fucking server with like 14 year olds don't act like you're a fucking parent or anything over there like you're not <laughs> you're not setting yourself like the best example like i mean sure you're trying to quote unquote protect them but nigga, they're, they're fucking kids. They're not going to look at you like some fucking Cobra Kai master, bro. Please relax yourself. So, yeah, as as far as that goes with people who flex things, like, yeah, also, that kind of also comes with the woman part. Like, dude, remember that time I fucking borrowed your Lambo? Nigga, shut up. <laughs> Shit never happened, buddy. Quit making lies to impress your little, your little people or the fucking little girls who are walking in front of us. And... Speaking of uh, little kids, I want to hop on the topic of little kids. Like, no one wants to fucking hear you crying in the, you know, just in the average fucking park when you're trying to kick a ball around with your lads. And you hear a fucking obnoxious kid in the background screaming and crying and bitching about shit. I sound a little bit hateful, but, dude, I mean, this is what most of the people think of, like, when it comes off the top of their heads about this type of subjects. And I think I have to speak for some people. Please shut the fuck up and stop crying next to me when you have a fucking ice cream and a caring mother who's trying their hardest to take care of you. Quit bitching. And I'm not even referring to the toddlers because obviously they're not developed yet, really. It's mainly like the fucking six, seven-year-olds. But they're going to grow up to learn about appreciation and whatnot. But for the ones that talk back to their mom, tell them to shut the fuck up. Like in the fucking, I don't know, like shitty-ass Darman cringe post. We don't, we don't care, bro. Please, just try to respect your mother, man. And that kind of adds on to, like, how little kids are very fucking honest. Like, a little bit way too honest. Let's say you're still trying to work on your weight, trying to get it down in a fucking park or something. You have a little kid running over to you. Maybe not running over to you, but they're still with their parent. And they're, like, whispering to their fucking mom. Hey, mom, look, it's a, it's a fat guy. Mom, it's a fat guy. And this also comes along with disabled people. They look at disabled people like, I don't know, let's say someone with no arm. Mom, look, he has no arm. He has no fucking arm, mom. What the fuck, man? Little Timmy, please shut up. We, we Please, please. Give the man some, pay, pay her some respects, man. He's probably went through some shit in life. Them kids do not fucking care. They'll be honest with you. So if you do ever want an honest opinion, just go to a little kid, bro. They'll tell you the truth. 
If you're fucking ugly. Yeah, you're fucking broke. Yeah, whatever, bro. And now I want to move on the topic to more of people who spoil. All right. Let's say you haven't watched the latest fucking Deadpool and uh, Wolverine movie. If I'm talking to my friend about it and we're both hyped to go and see it. Why? Why do you feel enlightened to come up to us with a fucking smirking face, rubbing your hands together, knowing you're about to do the, one of the most devious acts in possible mankind? You're walking to us with that fuck-ass grin, smiling, ready to expose the whole story to us. You know, it's the fact that you don't even get the time off to tell them, yo, relax, man. We haven't even seen the movie yet. You know, I know you've seen it before, bro. We're just talking about it. We just wanna, we're just hyping ourselves up before we go see it. Them niggas walk up with you with the most menacing smile. Ray just fucking rip ass with their fucking mouth. Just explaining the whole story. Damn. But yeah, this is like just a few things I want to get off my ass. Like I said, nigga, this shit is not from experience. I'm just yapping. Alright.